Now that we've seen that a directory-based scheme is the right match for a distributed memory system, we want to talk about how the directory should be organized. First, we could make the directory monolithic, as indicated down here. We could use a centralized directory. But the problem with that is that any time anybody tries to look up something in the directory, they need to go to the node where the directory is located. And if everybody is going to go to the same location to find directory information, contention is going to be just as bad as it would be on a bus-based system. So a distributed scheme is the right one to use. And among the distrib distributed schemes, there are two main alternatives. The first is a flat directory scheme where directory information is kept in a fixed place. Usually that's at the home node. So for any particular piece of memory, the directory information for it will be located at the same node that the memory is located. So that distributes it very naturally across the whole system. And when there's a miss, a transaction is sent to the home node to determine you know, what state the block is in and if, it, if there are cached copies of it anywhere else. An alternative is to use a hierarchical directory scheme. Here, the information on any particular block won't be held in a fixed location, but it can move around depending upon where the block is cached. Let's consider the root or top node of a hierarchical scheme. Given a lookup of a block, the top level directory will tell you which, if any, of its immediate children, the second level directories, have a copy of the block. And then the directories below that will tell you where the block might be located at uh, lower levels in the hierarchy. And eventually, as you traverse the directory, you get down to the leaf level nodes, which are the actual processing nodes where the block may actually be cached. This, with this hierarchical scheme, every time a miss occurs, you find the directory information by starting at the block where you are and looking for where else this block might be cached. There will be an indication of state at every level in the hierarchy, and it will tell, among other things, whether a copy of this block exists in some other subtree of that node. So by traversing the hierarchical directory, it's possible to find all copies of the block. That's all we have to say about hierarchical directories in this course. The rest of the time, we'll be assuming that we use a flat directory scheme. There are two ways that a flat directory scheme can be implemented, either memory-based or cache-based, and that has to do with information about where the other blocks is located. A memory-based scheme was used by these various experimental systems that are listed over there on the left. Early systems to use a cache-based scheme are listed on the right. The SGI Altix, a system we mentioned earlier, uses a memory-based scheme. Memory-based schemes store information about all cached copies at the home node of the block. So if you have a block that's located, let's say, in 15 different nodes or where there are copies in 15 different nodes, that information will be located at the home node. Probably there will be a linked list of blocks or, or, or just a, a bit vector of blocks. We'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, but uh, the idea is that all the information about block location is held in one particular pay place in memory. So you don't have to go searching for it. You can find it in a list or in a bit vector at that particular node. Cache-based schemes, instead of keeping the information at one node, distribute the information among the copies themselves. The home contains a pointer to the first cache on a linked list of caches that have copies of this block, and each of the caches has a link to the next one. So as we can see in the diagram, the home node is linked to the first cache that has a copy, and this, the first to the second, and so forth, and there are also links in the reverse direction, so given any particular copy, you can find all the other copies. This means that copies have to be located through network transactions. So we have seen two alternatives in organizing directories, hierarchical schemes and flat schemes. Hierarchical schemes might perform better in a situation where they can locate the information about all the nodes more efficiently. That is to say, if the information is widely distributed, but only in certain regions of the system, then a hierarchy can very quickly direct you to the regions where it's located without the need to send a lot of messages across the entire system. So when the network is large, hierarchical schemes might perform better. But realize that that's not always the case in modern systems. In modern systems, the number of messages makes a lot more difference in performance 
than how far the messages need to traverse because the messages are routed very efficiently from one node to another node through intermediate nodes to their final destination. And that means that flat schemes which send fewer messages might be more efficient than hierarchical schemes which send more messages even though they send them over a shorter distance. So in summary, we have three issues that both flat and hierarchical schemes need to face. The first is finding the source of directory data. That's really easy in a flat scheme because you just go to the right node. Where you just go to the, to the home node which is identified by the address. So you look at the leading bits of the address that tells you the home node. That's where you find the directory data. Then to find out where the copies are, if you have a memory-based directory, all the information is right there in that directory, whether or not it's a bit vector or a linked list. It's all in the same place in memory. If it's a cache-based scheme, on the other hand, the home has a pointer to the first element of a linked list through the caches that are sharing it. So you go to the first cache, and then that'll point you to the second cache, and eventually you locate all of the sharers. In order to communicate with those copies, in a memory-based scheme, you send point-to-point -point messages. In the most usual case, you send an individual message to each copy. But there's also the possibility of having a multicast message where instead of sending a message individually to all the sharers, you send it to the region of the system where some of the sharers are located. And then at the last step, this message splits into two different messages, each one destined for one of the nodes that, that has a copy of the block. And that's called a multicast because you send a single message that has more than one destination. If you have a cache-based scheme, you simply do a linked list traversal every time you want to find all of the shares going from cache to cache. In hierarchical schemes, all of these three issues are handled by sending messages up and down the directory tree. So there's no place in the system where you can find a list of all the sharers of a particular node. You just find them by determining whether a particular subtree contains a sharer, and if so, then you go to the subnodes of it, and eventually you locate all the sharers that way.